Hey guys, I'm here with Arturo. And uh, Arturo, can you tell us more about the Horizon Mobile? Uh, absolutely, I'd love to. Uh, Horizon Mobile is a uh, virtualization platform on Android. And I've got it uh, here on the Samsung Galaxy S3. Um, basically, we've taken a lot of the expertise that we've developed over the years, virtualizing the x86 instruction set, and we've moved that expertise over to the ARM instruction set. We've managed to um, uh, develop a hosted hypervisor that runs on any ARM processor. Uh, in practice, uh, we run the ARM uh, virtualization on uh, smartphones, Android smartphones. Uh, again, here I've got a Galaxy S3, and the way this works is that somebody would go into a Verizon or some other uh, handset vendor phone or a service provider um, store. They'd go, they'd buy a VMware-enabled or VMware-ready phone, they'd take it home, they'd contact their IT administrator and let them know that they want to access corporate resources using their VMware-ready phone. After they do that, they would um, go to the Google Play Store, they download our application, which is this, this one here. The first time they select the application, they would have to enter a URL, a username, and a password, which would be provided to them by their IT administrator. Once they enter that information, they would down, the phone would download a guest OS. Here I've got uh, uh, Froyo, which is an Android OS running on top of another Android OS. The host, in this case, is Ice Cream Sandwich. Um, so we obviously have all of the normal applications you would want to run on a smartphone, email, uh, calendaring, and so on. But uh, smartphones are really not just about email and calendaring anymore. It's really about providing a, uh, a, a, a workspace for accessing corporate resources. And in the case of Horizon Mobile, we provide a secure uh, container for uh, your corporate workspace. So if you have specific custom applications you want to make available to your employees, you can push them down uh, to that guest OS, you can manage policies, you can enforce password policies, you can limit uh, the, uh, the amount of data that can be copied and pasted between the guest and the host, and, uh, and again, it, it allows uh, uh, employers to give their employees uh, secure uh, and, and controlled access to corporate resources. Okay, so that sounds really good. I mean, it means for uh, end users that they don't no longer have to use two devices and for deployers that they can control what's happening in the workspace that they provide for their customers. But um, how does an employer download or push applications towards the environment? Uh, so the other part of the solution is the Horizon Mobile Manager, which is the management agent that IT administrators interact with. And I've got it running over here. Uh, basically, when the user um, is added to the Horizon Mobile Manager agent, uh, we associate that user with a group, and the group is, a, co is a, a collection of a policy and a template. Those two things together define both the security policies, and then the template defines the, the base OS image and the collection of applications that are going to be downloaded to that user. When an IT administrator wants to change the applications that a user has, uh, the IT administrator would go into Horizon Mobile Manager and add applications to the template. Uh, the next time the phone queries the uh, Horizon Mobile Manager service uh, to do a heartbeat, uh, it would notice that its configuration is out of, out of date and pull down that new application. If, you, if the IT administrator deletes an application from the workspace, at that point, the guest OS would delete the application from the guest environment. During this morning's keynote, Steve Harrod also mentioned that we do something not for just for Android, but also for the other phone, the iOS phone. Is that something that you could show us as well? So on um, this application, when I open up the uh, any of the applications that are part of the workspace, uh, the, for the first time, uh, it's going to check policies and it's going to determine that I need to enter a pin code in order to access the workspace. Once I enter the pin code, uh, it's going to log me in and then immediately move forward into the application. Now, if I try to open any other application that's part of the same workspace, uh, the Moxie or email application, for example, it's no longer going to prompt me for a password. It's just going to dump me right into the application. Uh, there are uh, cut and paste uh, policies that are enforced on this device. So if I, uh, if I select all of these, all this text, and I copy it, uh, and then later on I decide that I want to paste it. Uh, you'll see that it's pasted within the within the workspace. However, if I go outside of the workspace to a personal application like Notes, and I try to paste uh, the same text there, 
you'll see that it's actually a different pace buffer and I prevent leakage of data from the workspace into the personal space. Well, thanks very much. I mean, that sounds like a really cool technology that we're working on. Um, I'm looking forward to start using it, no longer using two devices, and I'm sure my boss will be too. Thanks so much. Thank you.